Hello guys and very welcome to my channel Flying Tools. Today I will do a six month power update for you guys so you can see how much money I have earned on my system and also how many kilowatt hours I have sold and how many kilowatt hours I bought during this period. I will just show you my system so uh, let's start with the panels on my roof here. So we are looking at 10 panels or uh, actually 12 but those are just for test right now so 10 panels and those are rated to 405 watts each and that's the same as 4.50 kvp on my roof there and those panels they are connected to my hybrid inverter in my basement so i can choose to sell that energy out to the grid or store it into my homemade high voltage battery that i will show you in a minute here and uh, well, here we have my solar trackers and those are connected to the grid only. So I have a small grow watt inverter to those so I can just sell that power out. And I built this system uh, 2014, so they have been with me for a while. <laughs> and yeah, here we have my latest project. Or well, it's not my latest project, but it's my project anyway. I just bought this boat and uh, I have installed a solar panel here so I can charge my battery bank and uh, be out and fishing during the same time. And I have some plans here to try to have as many panels here as possible and then see how uh, fast I can go with only solar power if it's possible at all. But I've done some calculation on it and uh, well it should be possible but it will not be fast. <laughs> I can say that. And here we have my battery that I am loving so much. It is helping me with the energy cost so much more than everything else, I have to say, because we have those energy spikes the, in the evening and also in the early morning when we don't have so much sun. And then my house is just standing on battery. And if the energy prices runs like a rocket <laughs> to the sky there, then I just can push on a button and sell some energy out from my battery to the grid. And nowadays I also have a home assistant system that will take care of that automation. So it will calculate how many hours I have to charge the battery and then how many hours I can sell uh, power. And also only sell it to the highest price there, of course. But now lately, the prices has been pretty much the same and also very cheap. So now I have only sold some energy out and used the most of it myself. So here we have it guys. This is a battery from a Volkswagen ID3 and I guess that some of you guys already have seen me creating everything here. I have an Orion BMS inside of it. And uh, this battery is rated to 62 kilowatt hours. And now I have an extra module here on the outside. So normally I have a voltage to uh, up to 450 volts. And now with this extra module, I am a little over 500 volts. And that makes my inverter to run at 100% there. So I can put out 15 kilowatt out from my inverter with only this battery and nothing from the grid and nothing from the panels. Normally I don't take out that much power, but it's possible and that's great. So here we have this. Let's go on to the mountain and take a look at my panels over there. I think it's a little more than two months since I've been up here. And now the last two days it has been really windy. So it will be good to go up and see so everything looks okay there.
Do you want to take a look? Let's do that. So here we are guys, almost up at the top. So let's go on. So here they are guys, and everything is looking just fine. So that's great. And we are looking at 20 panels rated to 360 watts each. And that's the same as 7.2 kvp in total. And yes, it was a really hard work to get all of those panels up here. I did carry one of the panels up this way that you saw me climbing up. And uh, it was really dangerous, so I had to take the long way around. So I took it the other way from the back side here. And it is still really steep, but you can at least walk there and you don't have to climb there. But the wooden frame, I did carry that up this way. But now it's done and those panels, they are pointed straightly to the south because I have built this system mostly for the winter. So uh, because my plan was to go off grid and uh, well, that's possible. But I mean, go off grid when the energy prices sometimes spikes through the roof there. It's a pretty stupid idea because now I can charge my battery those cheapest hours from the sun or even from the grid if I would like to do that, which I often do during the winter time. And then of course just sell that power out to the grid again when the sun is below the horizon. That's how I do it. I know if you're going to buy a battery, those batteries are so expensive, so it's probably not worth it to do it like this. But for me, I have only paid around 1000 crowns almost 100 euros per kilowatt hour in my battery. So it's a pretty cheap one. So that's why I do it like this. If I had to pay maybe 5,000 crowns or 500 euros per kilowatt hours, no, I have not done it like this because then it's much cheaper to just store the energy and use it yourself later on. If it's ever going to be paid off, who knows? So let's take a last look at this site and then we go down in my basement and take the numbers from there. my inverters. First we have the grow watt inverter. This one is rated to 3000 watts and it only takes care of 1.9 kvp from those panels in my garden there on the trackers. And then we have the Sulax hybrid inverter 15 kilowatt and uh, it is connected to 11.2 kvp so there is room for some more panels. But uh, I have my battery there with the high voltage on it, so I can still put out 15 kilowatt if I need to do that without any solar or any grid power connected to it. And here is just some breakers and then I have my microcomputer here with home assistant on it. So this one is controlling my Solax hybrid inverter via Modbus. Here you can see my system live right now at the moment. So uh, 7.5 kilowatt is coming in from the panels and 6.6 .6 is going out to the grid there. And uh, 760 watts-ish is uh, going into my house directly from the panels. And my battery is just standing there right now. So I normally just charge it up to 85% and uh, this night my water heater has pulled that down to 80%. And you can see that the import price right now is 1.419 crowns. And that's why I am not charging my battery with solar power. I just sending that out because I earn the most money of it. Uh, later on when the price will be uh, cheaper during the night time, 
then I will charge my battery from the grid if I need to. I'm, I probably don't need to do that because my battery is big and I have, as you can see, there almost 80% in it. So let's go down and just take a quick look. Here you can see the last uh, six hours of consumption, import and export. And you can see that I have not imported anything. And here is this 24 hours graph. You see the red flag there is the actual time. And then you have the lowest price and the highest price. And everything here is in Swedish crowns. Okay, let's go into the next. I will just show you a little quick here. Here is some gauges. And here is also the power curve for this day. You can see that it has been a really nice day this day. And then we have the prices here that will come tomorrow. So tomorrow we will have a big spike there in the morning and also in the afternoon. And then we have the prices in numbers and not just in graphs like it is here. And some other settings and automations of course. Here I can decide if I want to use it by myself or feed it directly into the grid. We can for fun just press self-use here. And see what will happen and let's go over to the first picture here. You can see that now we have started to charge the battery from the sun. And let's go back and press feed in again. And now everything should go out to the grid. We have some graphic errors here in the beginning of course. Just wait for it. There we have it. So really easy, really nice. Okay, let's go on. So there we have my system. You have seen everything. Now you just, if you're interested, you will have the numbers, of course. So from January to June 2023, my system produced 6,419 kilowatt hours. And here you have each and every month when I exported. And here is the import 3,731 kilowatt hours. And here you can compare both import and export. And here is also the costs and the revenue for each and every month. And yeah, well, you can read this by yourself, but I have to say that 1.099 crowns per kilowatt hour is a pretty good number during this period. And here is the revenue for those six months. The sad thing here is that I don't know how many kilowatt hours that been coming from the grid into my battery or how many kilowatt hours I have charged my battery directly from the sun or even used myself directly from the sun. Later on I probably can see that in Home Assistant but I started to use Home Assistant in Mars this year so I don't have that numbers for this period. Maybe the next six months I can see the difference there. So. Just so you know, guys. I have to say that I am pretty pleased with those numbers, but you have to keep in mind that this 60 euro is a little bit special. I don't know if any other countries have that out there, but in Sweden we have this in tax relief. And what that means is that you actually have to buy the same amount of kilowatt hours that you're producing and sending out to the grid. So let's say that you send out 1000 kilowatt hours to the grid but then you only buy 800 kilowatt hours from the grid, well, then you will only have 60 euro for those 800 kilowatt hours that you did buy from the grid. Yeah, there we have it, <laughs> okay. And as you probably did see there, I have sent out more kilowatt hours to the grid than I have taken down from the grid. But we are now in the middle of the summer, so probably this will change or the month that uh, will come later on when the days are getting shorter. Well, that is pretty much everything for this video. Thank you so much guys for watching and also to everybody who have subscribed to my channel. That really means so much to me. It's so much more fun to do these videos when you guys actually want to see more of it. Take care guys. Hope I see you next time. 
Goodbye.